My name is Erin Manning. I teach in film studies and studio art at Concordia. I direct the Sense Lab, which is a laboratory for thought in motion that crosses art, philosophy, and politics. A lot of my work has looked at the concept of neurodiversity, so the ways in which people with different neurologies learn, and particularly I've been collaborating with autistics. The people that I work with are nonverbal. Um, but they have uh, extraordinary language. I supervise a lot of artists, uh, dancers, social activists, and their work is not primarily language-based. I came to Concordia with a PhD in political theory. I was always an artist, but I had never studied art. Um, I had exhibited, I had had a, a small gallery in Ottawa, but I didn't bring those two aspects of my work together until I was supervising students who were doing art and philosophy combinations. My name is uh, Vincent Martin. I'm a professor and a Canada Research Chair in the Department of Biology at Concordia University. I started off in environmental microbiology and eventually moved into a more of an engineering discipline where we engineer microorganisms. That field is sometimes defined as more synthetic biology. My lab has two different research themes concentrated on making small molecules that will replace petrochemicals that are usually made for building plastics, polymers, and, and things of that nature. And the idea here is to really generate more sustainable, renewable technology to move away from petroleum. The other half of my research focus is to make drugs uh, using microorganisms, and some of those drugs are drugs that are difficult to get access to, uh, such as anti-malarial drugs or painkillers. So it's kind of flipping the, the process on its head where you're, you're asking the question, how can biology work for us, and can we modify or engineer that? How can we make biology produce molecules, products, drugs, and things of that nature that are helpful to society? My name is Stephen High, and I'm uh, from Thunder Bay, Ontario, and I come from a, a working class background. I'm interested in what industrial work means to people. Like, there's the paycheck, obviously, but there's also something profound where you have, you know, within families where you have multiple generations working, and, and when that's taken out, when you take the mill out of the mill town, what do you have? When I came to Concordia in 2005, I shifted gears and I started to focus on, on a different kind of displacement, people who fled, who were forcibly displaced by, by large-scale violence. Often when you interview people, it's about, you're not really interested in them, you're interested in, in about the history behind them. And in oral history, it's very much try to understand that, you know, the capital H history, within the context of a life lived. I work with people in, in interview contexts, I work with people as collaborators, I work with people uh, across many, many disciplines, and you're always learning. I, I find that, you know, my learning curve is like this. Yeah.